Hey Ernest, it's Aaron, your personal driver. And today, we're gonna detail the car. Alright guys, step one, get a bag. Get every single thing out of your car. Every charger, every everything in every nook and cranny. You can put it back in the car, but get a bag and stuff it so you can get it out of the way. That way you can also sort it later and decide if you need it or not. Especially you nasty guys who keep trash in your car. Don't do that. Get a bag, get everything out. Step one. All right guys, step two, vacuum. So this, uh, to do this, you take all your mats out of your car, put the mats on the ground, vacuum the mats outside, then that way you can vacuum under the mats, the seats, get all that done. I use a Dyson, but you use whatever you have, man. So the secret to this is, first you move all the seats forward, take care of the back, then you move all the seats backwards, and take care of the front. Okay guys, a tip for vacuuming, use a broad um, attachment to as much dirt as you can, then switch over to a single one like this so you can get the nooks and crannies. Now remember, you don't have to get every little thing, just the big stuff, because later on, we're gonna go over with the wet vac, and that'll get all the small dirt up when we do that. The next step, guys, you gotta use your Lucas oil and wipe down everything. All right, get your towel. Some people like to use specific cloths for this. I don't, I know a lot of people are going to get mad at me because I'm wasteful, but I prefer paper towel, I think it's better. Don't worry about the windows, we'll do those last. So just spray everywhere that's not cloth. Make sure you get in here, a lot of times you will get skipped and they'll get dirty and nasty. Just wipe it in and rub it in real good. And what this does is it gets into the, that plastic, that leather. That everything but not everything that isn't cloth and just makes it smell like Lucas oil which is the most delicious thing in the world also don't forget the size and under the door it's, the most, it's pretty oftenly missed okay guys I can't emphasize this enough this is the most frequently missed part of car. You have these rubber guards go all the way through here, all the way up. What happens if you don't clean those out is they get dirt and mold in them. That is mold and dirt. So and that's I clean my car once a month. So if you're not cleaning in there, what's going to happen is that mold is going to smell like mold and your car is going to smell like shit. So, in my opinion, the best way to do this is you spray the Lucas oil on the towel until like it's a little bit wet, a little bit of moisturized. Just go around the whole thing, top and bottom.
And when I say, and when I say every nook and cranny, I mean every nook and cranny, everything that isn't cloth. Like always, you gotta get you gotta get this. Look at this, man. Look at this. You gotta get under here on these rubber things. Look at that. You always gotta soak this thing up and get under the rubber guards, guys. It's gonna smell like mold and mildew if you don't. Okay, guys. The next step: windows. Be careful not to get the spray all over the place. Let's try to keep it just to the windows. That happens sometimes. The operation of this is pretty easy. Plug it in. You fill one side with a little bit of this and a little bit of hot water. You turn it on, you turn the heater on. When that red light comes on, that means it's hot and ready to go. You spray everything that's cloth and then you uh, suck it back up and the dirty water goes here. Okay now, don't forget the match you took out earlier. And now guys, let's take a look at the finished product. Now you just do the same process on the front and your car is ready to go. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and hit like, thumbs up, and um, go ahead and leave a comment and subscribe. You hit this button here. There are also going to be two videos here and here if you'd like to watch some more. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon that you uh, have on your YouTube so you can get updates when I leave them. Thanks guys. Bye.